Hello, my name is Christian Walter from Trade Roller, and today I want to present you some details about option trading and the four basic option strategies um, long put, short put, long call, and short call. And all the details and a really detailed um, description and how to start with option trading you found on our, found on our website where you can book uh, video tutorials for beginners and also for advanced um, option trader where we go from um, step by step all the details how to start with um, all the options. The first example where we would start is a long call and I have here NEO, the um, stock from um, US or it's like a Chinese stock for electro electronic cars and um, there's a very good example for the time in June, end of June, where this stock was between seven and eight dollars. So if you want to invest in this stock, you have to, if you buy like 100 stocks, uh, 100 shares, you have to invest um, $800. So the benefit of a long call is that you normally have a low investment depending on your expiration date. You can have like different expiration um, dates. The longer you choose, the more expensive the call option will be. But we will like say um, maybe three or four weeks expiration date with a um, strike price where you would like to buy this um, stock of um, let's say $13 will cost only $100 um, so it's a less investment comparing to the stock itself and there are three scenarios so first scenario if this is going down you will lose in the during the expiration uh, time you will lose your investment of hundred dollars the same if um, nothing will happen and it's just going sideways um, that's the big benefit if you have to stop because your investment will stay the same um, and the thing where you're looking for when you buy a call is it's going up because then you will have a big profit we can say maybe the peak was here $16.15 um, so it means we will have a profit of $350 for our investment how did I calculate it? it's the difference between the strike price where you want to buy the um, stock and the price where um, we said like $16.15 so this is normally the Profit, you just need to deduct your investment of $100. So at the end, to make it easy, there will be a profit of $250. So means you have 150% uh, performance on your investment. And this is the big benefit. You have a low investment, you can have a high percentage uh, of performance. Comparing to a normal stock trade, you have a very high investment or you are like your uh, money is um, um, yeah, covered or invested in something uh, what is with a yeah, option quite low. The disadvantage is the expiration, so you will lose uh, money if nothing will happen. So these are the main facts for long call. The next example is uh, short call. And before we continue with short call, I have to say it's like the highest risk if you just um, sell a call option, what is called the yeah, short call, because um, uh, we just buy an uh, example for Kraft Heinz. Um, with short call, there's uh, exactly the opposite what we did with the long call. Um, we will sell to a price, uh, strike price, let's say $37 um, um, dollars, means we have the right to sell or we have the, yeah, we have the right to sell the um, stock to $37 um, um, dollars. And if you don't have the stock, uh, it means you have to short sell the stock at this price. So for example, if uh, Kraft Heinz will go up to $70 dollars, you have a really big loss. Um, the benefit of a short call is only that you have a fixed premium, what you will see receive as your profit, but you have an unlimited risk. So the um, chance risk reward is normally quite um, bad if it's going um, against your position. 
So what I recommend for the beginning, instead of uh, just creating short calls, is credit call. Because especially if you have a stock portfolio and you have a buy and hold strategy, you can um, generate like um, premiums or an income from premium of a call option. It's similar to maybe dividends and I would like to explain this with Kraft Heinz. I have bought this um, share for approximately $35 uh, and if I would say okay at $37 with $2 uh, profit I would like to sell my uh, position I can always uh, sell call options because then um, no matter what happens there are also three scenarios if it's going sideways and I get like $100 easy $100 uh, premium for my call options what I sold and that's the maximum I can't earn more than $100 so if it's going sideways, I get $100. If it's going down, I receive the $100. But I will always um, hold my um, stock position because the stock position will be only sold if it's going above $37. This is the only um, time where I sell my position of um, Kraft Heinz. But the premium, this is here the difference, will be always um, my profit. It doesn't matter if it's going down or sideways um, or up, the only difference for the first two scenarios, I can also do the same for next expiration date. So I can sell another call option if it's um, maybe going up just a little bit, not reaching the $37. I can do the same for like expiration date in September, October. So I always generate um, um, premium from this. And if you combine this with a good dividend um, stock, it's like the double um, income, you get dividends and you get also the premium from um, the call option what you sold. So normally for every investor who's having positions minimum 100 shares, credit call is a very uh, good opportunity to get some more income. The next example is long put and long put is um, if you want to invest or if you think the stock um, is going down. It's also important if there's maybe some um, stock um, not able to um, short sell. We call this hard to borrow. There are several um, times where stocks are not able for short selling and you can still invest in puts. So we have an example of Wirecard here in Germany. Uh, stock in Germany where it was listed at $100. So if you really thought in this situation it will go down in the future um, and you, if you have the chance to short sell the um, stock itself, the stock was like 100 um, euros and if you short sell some position of um, 100 shares you have to invest or you're like, um, your margin is more than 10,000 um, euros so it's the same like with the long call. A long put is having like a smaller amount of investment. This is a big benefit. The disadvantage is of course always the same, the expiration date. So if nothing happens in your time um, where you choose like um, for duration um, of the expiration date of your put option, um, nothing uh, will happen and you will lose your money. Here we will say my put option for example will cost 200 put and uh, 200 dollars uh, and I want to sell this uh, position, this stock at a price of 70 dollars. So what does it mean? It's the same principle. If it's going up, you will lose the 200 dollar. If it's going down uh, sideways, it's also you lose the 200 dollars. The only uh, time where you earn money, it's exactly what happened here you will, um, if it's going below the strike price which you choose. Because every option is having a strike price. Uh, for a put option is the price where you want to sell this um, share. And here's a very big performance or big advantage that we calculated because of the, at the end of your uh, expiration date, the price of an option is always um, the strike price, what is $70 minus the last price and here it's two dollars so we have 68 dollars multiplied with 100 
because um, one option is always like uh, 100 shares. So we have a profit of 6,800, uh, yeah, it's euro, it's not dollars. We just have to uh, deduct the 200 dollars what we invest and you see you can really get like a high performance, a high percentage uh, with a small amount of money. Uh, I mean, you would have the same if you just uh, short sell the stock, but uh, you have to invest much more or you have a, a much uh, higher impact on your margin. So put options are really a good example if you want to invest in the short term on um, um, down growing prices or on, um, I think the price will go really rapidly um, down in a short uh, period of time. So this is um, a good example with Wirecard how to make a benefit of a um, long put. Um, and the other side, um, if you have something where you um, think this is going down in a short period of time, also like Wirecard, then always try to choose a long put option. And the last example is um, short put. Um, for here, I have an example of American Airline. American Airline um, was really going down a lot the last uh, months. And if you want to try to buy this um, for like a cheap price, like ten dollars, you see the actual price is eleven fifty at the moment. Um, Normally, for um, stock investors, you can just put a limit order and that's it and wait till um, the limit order will be filled. But a short put gives you the opportunity to really buy a stock to a low price and uh, to get some premium out of it. Because it's here exactly the opposite with a long, um, long put. You have a premium, let's say for $10 strike price, where you can buy the um, the share you will get fifty dollars um, premium, what is almost five percent of the uh, stock, and this you can do as long as uh, the price is um, going to your strike price. So what what does it mean? We also have three scenarios. If it's going up, you will not get the stock for ten dollar, but you will uh, keep your premium of fifty dollar. If it's going sideways, the same. Only if it's going below 10, then what will happen? You will stay with the $50 premium as long as you uh, don't close your position. But then you will get like um, shares of American Airline for $10. And then the next step, um, you can continue with the credit card. So it's a very smart way to always continue calculating or generating premium. Um, you will start maybe with $50 for 3-4 weeks. If American Airline doesn't go down uh, below $10, then you will do the same and you will not have any position, only um, getting premium. So what is the advantage? The advantage is uh, we will mostly generate premium in any case. Um, the disadvantage if American Airline goes down to 5 3 or $2, you will have a very high um, open loss on your stock position or you have to close, the, to close the position with a big loss. So it's actually almost the same like what I just um, uh, explained earlier with the short call. You have a very right, high risk to a low um, profit. So the ratio is not really um, nice, but um, always keep in mind 78% of all options uh, expire without any value. So you have a very high probability to uh, make a gain, to make a profitable um, trade and especially to build a stock portfolio on a long term. It's a very nice way to start with a short put and then continue, like I said, with what we explained to you earlier with a covered call. More videos you will find in our playlist below and to not miss any uh, video in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you're always up to date and uh, don't miss any of the upcoming videos.